when I was attacked by the demon called hemi hemiparesis. When I was not able to move my left limb, I used to think about only one thing, whether I can be able to walk, whether I can be able to move back again, whether I will be healed or not. Many people said, you have to do this thing, you have to do that thing, you have to go to that hospital and this hospital and you will have to get treatment like this, you have to go to the allopathy or otherwise Ayurvedic, uh, you should go for the natural remedies, you should go for the massage therapy and lots and lots of therapies, everything. And I know very well these things are not going to help me because my problem is not physical alone, it is mental too. When I was locked up in the room, when I was uh, rumbling and tumbling in one single room in my bed, I used to think always, what is going to be next? What I am going to do in life? Am I a failure? So I thought, I am a failure. I was a failure. But I didn't know that time. I was not so aware of the fact that I am limiting myself and I was thinking in one way what will be the actual purpose of my life? Who is the reason for all these things? I used to blame other people. Finally I found that it is me and Whatever the thing I had in my mind, it bounced back to me. One or other day I realized, whatever I am feeling, if it is hurt, then I am getting hurt. If I am sending out the angry vibrations, if I am having a kind of temperament towards others, then the response back to me. I know very well. I have lost many of my friends. I was not having anybody. I was all alone in that room. But I had only one thing with me. The hope. I know very well that one or other day I am going, going to make it out. I am going to gain confidence. I am going to gain back my health. He gain back my health. I am going to get new friends who will always adore me, suggest me at times, helpful for me at times. What about my health? I just wanted to regain my health back. I don't know how and I was not having money. But I had confidence, hope in me. I was so confident that I will regain back my health. Then I started working out. Then I started everything, every single step which I can take forward to regain my health back. The first step what I did is I started saying myself I'm going to be okay and day by day I am gaining my strength back it's gonna be all right it's going to be awesome my life is going to be awesome in future day by day I can feel that I started affirming myself one other day I found out something in the old bookshop a treasure called You Can Heal Yourself by Louis Hay. Louis taught a lot of things through that book to me. Then finally I understood I am the barrier for myself. It is me, it is my mind which is not allowing me to heal from the troubles, the disabilities which I had. I 
started gaining back my strength. One hour of that day, I thought, I will be the same old person, walking, jumping, running. Days passed by. It's now three years since I got attacked with the stroke. Then, the time span of three years, the change of changes which happened in my life, the people, new people whom I met with all their support, with all my confidence, with all the abundant universes, abundant support. Now, I am able to walk, even though not so fully. I, as I am sure that I am going to get it back as soon as possible. Still, my left side is weakened, but not like before. Now I am able to walk, I can jump, and even I started driving the car. This all happened because of only one thing I had in my mind. I am okay. The mind is the first ever thing which we have to consider while healing. Then the medicines, the therapies, sometimes those all things are not at all needed. If you have that much confidence, the universe starts healing yourself, yourself. The universe starts healing. The healing happens automatically. I am the true example for that. Now I can move my arms, I can walk, I can drive my car and I can do whatever it is. This happened because I realized the universal abundance and I started moving towards the highest level of super consciousness finally the little hope the medicine called little hope in me has brought me this transformation every one single human being who is capable of thinking can really feel the same kind of change. I'm sure.